Good afternoon, everyone. We are grateful that you join us here in our webinar this afternoon. Greetings to all the students out there, our online viewers, our supportive parents, and dear teachers. We hope that you are healthy and safe. We are thankful to the Lord that we are. So why don't we start this webinar series with a doxology to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the University Hymn. Thank you. 
Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang matiliw, pelas na sinara, alab ng puso, at ito'y mo'y buhay, upang hinihan, doon na lang sa manlulupi. Di pa sisigit sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bugaw. May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagriningning. Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilip. Lupa ng araw na ang walhati pagsinta. Puhay ay langit sa piling mo, aming ligaya na pag may mga api, ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. Maroon and white forever, forever for me, with burning loyalty and love. Young hearts will be your star of our destiny to eternity. Maroon and white forever, in fact, and you for me. Maroon and white forever, forever for me, with burning loyalty and love. Our young hearts will be your start of our destiny to eternity. Maroon and white forever, in fact, and you for me.
once again Once again, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to MSUF Online Career Education Series. This is an initiative of the Manuel S. Inverga University Foundation to provide information and relevant topics that would inspire and challenge our students as they continue to pursue their dreams. For today's series, we will focus on this topic, My Parents, Partners. Inclusive and inspiring career talk. Parents play a huge role for their children, especially in their career path. That's why parents are very important to be involved in this afternoon's webinar. I agree, Denise. Dear parents, thank you for investing your time with us. Also watching online are our students and teachers. That's right, Mom Gail. We are now live on MSEUF Facebook page, CCMS Facebook page, and on the MSEUF YouTube channel. So feel free to send your shout outs for us to mention your tracks or strengths and your schools. Yes, because Denise, hindi lamang Invergans ang nanunood sa atin, pati na rin ang mga participating schools. Again, as what Denise said, isend yun lamang ang inyong shoutout for us to mention your schools. And of course, ang ating mga Invergans ay kasama din natin from uh, ABM, UMS, STEM, and TAGS. Don't forget to use our official hashtag for this webinar, hashtag MSEUF Career Ed. Denise. And for the guidelines and reminders that this webinar is recorded for documentation purposes and will be posted on YouTube. So turn off the microphone and camera and do not share your screen or do any annotations. And at this point, we will hear first a welcome remarks. We have the Vice President for Academics and Research, Dr. Benilda N. Villenas. There's a song called Que Sera Sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future is not ours to see. Que Sera Sera. But the future will not just fall on your lap like an apple falling from a tree. You've got to work hard to attain your desirable future. This means knowing what your strengths are so that you can sustain and expand them. And at the same time, coming to terms with your weaknesses and overcoming them through education and training. This webinar hopes to assist you to carve a desirable future for yourselves. Listen well and listen attentively so that you can plan your career moves. This session will help you take stock of what you can be and what you can do to achieve it. Welcome and good day. Thank you so much, Dr. Villanas, the Vice President for Academics and Research. Also, watching online are our grade 10 students. Kumusta kayo dyan, grade 10 students? We hope that you are all healthy and safe. To see the glimpse of the MSEUF's basic education department, let's watch this audiovisual presentation. Sunshine, sunshine. Every 
Every day is a new beginning. Every day is a gift to hold up high. Everyone has a way to carry. Everyone has a soul, so let it shine. Don't worry about the clouds. Cause when the skies come out. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine Give me, give me them good times, good times Nothing, nothing but good vibes, good vibes Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine Bring on the summertime Bring on the summertime From the highest mountain, I will love that there's nothing in my way. I believe in the heart inside me, I believe in the hope that conquers hate. Don't worry about the clouds, cause when the skies come out, give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. And that is the MSEUF's Basic Education Department. At this point of time, I know that everyone is excited to learn from our speaker as she will impart knowledge to us. I will go straight to present our speaker this afternoon. Our speaker took and earned her degree Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, major in English, at the Manuel S. Inverga University Foundation, Lucena City. Bilingual Education at Philippine Normal University, Manila. Master of Arts in Educational Leadership and Management at Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas. Our speaker is a PAYAC certifier, DepEd Teacher Selection Committee member, and DepEd Regional Trainer. For this afternoon's webinar, My Parents Partners, Inclusive and Inspiring Career Talk. Tamang-tama po, sapagkat ang magbabahagi sa atin ay isa ring nanay, isang ina ng kanilang tahanan maging ng aming paaralan. We have the principal of MSEUF's Basic Education Department, Ma'am Reina V. Pasumbal. Ma'am? Good afternoon, Ms. Gail. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, so thank you, thank you very, very much for that uh, brief introduction. Uh, I think um, um, yours truly needs no long introduction no? because at this point, uh, we really will be talking about a matter that is uh, very personal among us all, no? not only to the students, but most especially to our parents. So uh, let's clear the facts. I am not an expert about this matter. But then definitely, um, this is probably just a refresher or probably just a sharing of our own personal experiences. You know, because um, uh, definitely our audience right now is a combination of both parents and our students. And I hope that uh, both, um, both compartments or categories of audience will be able to pick up from our sharing this afternoon. So thank you very much, Mom Gail. So shall I begin? Yes, ma'am. We are all set to be refreshed. Go ahead, ma'am. 
Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Gail. So, once again, magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. So, I have here a very few uh, slides uh, to uh, use for my presentation, but I have been reminded that I have to set my time, no? Because we are to end uh, at 4 o'clock, so hopefully we will be able to give justice to the time allocated to each one of us. So, muli, let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Not yet, ma'am. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So just like what I have mentioned, no. so uh, again, I would like to welcome everybody to this engagement. So that's the first fact that we have to settle today, you know, that this is an engagement. This is not a lecture. Just like what I have mentioned uh, a while ago, I am not a guest expert. I am a resident employee of uh, Manuel Isenverga University Foundation for almost 28 years now. Um, and uh, probably my qualification is, um, aside not really the educational qualifications that had been mentioned by Ms. Gail, but probably my best qualification I can use right now is my being a parent, my being a mother for uh, almost 23 years now. Oh, and of course, uh, my work exposed me to uh, from ages 22, or sorry, from ages 2 to 82. You know, because of course, at the basic education department, we have to deal with the very young and of course, uh, the once upon a time young, you know, our grandparents even, because our grandparents are active participants uh, in the many programs that we have held and hopefully we will still be holding you know, in the near future. Uh, face to face, hopefully, you know, if you will be given the chance. So, once again, this is more of a sharing, and definitely later, uh, please feel free to engage with with us. No, so the information that we will be hearing is not new. Uh, these are not new information because uh, probably some of you are, have been practicing it. No, uh, uh, longer than uh, than mine. My experience as being a parent. Okay, so once again. Uh, my parents, my partners, this is the topic that had been given to me by our IMP director. Uh, their office is really working so hard despite this uh, uh, very challenging situation that we are having right now. So welcome to this engagement. Um, so probably we have to put our title first in context, no? because uh, there are a few... I think uh, verbs or copula that are missing in the title because yeah, it has to be catchy. You know? But then of course, if we will be putting it in context, we have to understand that some somebody is saying the line, somebody is uh, uttering that sentence, my parents are my partner. So presumably or not presumably, but this really the, the green uh, shade of uh, uh, a child here, no? Uh, the, the symbol I'm using for this, uh, for, for the learner is this green one. And so he's the one saying, my parents are my partners. So the title itself is a declaration of the ultimate goal of this engagement, you know? that uh, we parents or we are being reminded that, hey, our children look at us, you no know, look up to us. Uh, yes, definitely. But they, of course, expect that they are treated as partners because they, too, treat you as their partners. So hopefully, we have this clear uh, understanding of what the goal of this uh, uh, engagement will be. So relative, you know, the negotiation, the career decision making is actually a partnership. It's uh, a shared um, relationship. You no, know? It's a shared decision between you and the child. Okay. But some of you probably are um, have a kid or just uh, one child or probably five or seven or even a dozen. No? So uh, definitely um, you have a lot of uh, experiences rel relative to uh, guidance uh, pertaining to uh, career, you know, career advices or guidance that you provide to your children. So somehow we will take a look at 
our role as parents, no? Um, so what does it mean to be the parent or the caregiver of an adolescent compared to the parent or caregiver of a younger child from the perspective of their life course? Okay? Uh, symbolically, the question may be answered by these two pictures. No? So this is a very simple question. Uh, honestly, the, the question here was lifted from uh, a paper that was presented or that was uh, financed by UNICEF no? as to... Um, a research that's trying to work on or to take a look at uh, the effectiveness of parents' um, guidance in terms of uh, choosing careers. So what does it mean to be the parent or caregiver of an adolescent compared to the parent or caregiver of a younger child from the perspective of their life course? So from the first picture here, you know, we could see how an adult hand uh, is holding in a way that he is guiding, no? uh, whether we like it or not, we could see here that there is uh, uh, a grip, a very protective grip, no? that the, could this be a hand of a father? Yeah, probably, no? uh, this could be a hand of a father or probably a lolo or an uncle since we have here a caregiver, no? uh, not just the parent. And then of course, um, willingly the child clasp his or her hand to that of uh, the adult uh, caregiver. No? So there is this, and probably uh, they are moving into the same direction, into one direction. And in here, um, we could see here, which one actually is our hands here? Which do we think is our hands here? Yeah, this one with a vein showing. No? Um, so we are clasping the hand of the adolescent, probably our eldest or our second child or our grade 10, our third child who is now in grade 10, who is to choose a particular track in senior high school, who's, uh, and of course the track that he will be choosing in the senior high school will also be uh, an influential course no, in his um, um, future career or in his uh, tertiary course course in the future so, so as we can see here there is this support no and then the protective clasp the supportive clasp and the protective clasp so are we squeezing it yeah i think we are not squeezing it no it's, it's just the right clasp that we are providing to the hand of the adolescent so figuratively and of course i know that our audience are intelligent smart audience no you can uh um, somehow visualize here a very clear and distinct um, uh, demarcation no, that separates our role. No? But actually our role, our role, let me proceed to my next slide. No? Our role remains the same no? because our role are these ones. No? But probably it's the scale of intensity that varies no it's it's the scaling of the intensity that varies so so the question has been considered in relation to the following concepts no so how do you guide or how do you raise a child how do you raise an adolescent of course it requires the right amount of attachment and connection and will the attachment and connection for a child be the same amount that we need for an adolescent no some of you might say yes some of us might say um probably um, not not really, no. Uh, in terms of intensity, the same intensity, but probably there is another road that you're taking or path that you're taking in order to somehow modify the kind of attachment and connection that you are uh, applying to your adolescent, no. Um, I, I remember, or I, I will not share you what I remember uh, because I might say, and yeah, but, well, probably... Uh, you have somehow encounter or experience uh, when when you were still sending your little kid you know, in the primary, in the formative years. And um, you will be at the school gate and you will be surprised. He's already there you know, or she's already there waiting for you. But when, when he reached uh, grade seven or probably grade six even, you know, uh, you're already by the gate and yet... You still have not seen him, not even his shadow. No? 
So there are, of course, a lot of answers to that. Now, probably he's still uh, with his friends or probably he's finishing assignment in advance or probably he doesn't want to be seen with you, most especially if it's recess time. No? Um, before, because of course, the habit of a, pet, of a mother is um, during recess time, you're there, you're feeding them, you're putting towel, no, so, or you're you're helping them change, you no, know, uh, clothes or undergarments because uh, they are already soaking wet, you no, know, with sweat and perspiration because of uh, too much uh, playing, you no, know? and of course because of the weather, um, and then you realize somehow now that he is in grade seven or in grade six, hindi mo na siya makita kagad. Probably you still are putting towel or bimpo no, in his back and he doesn't want that. No? Not because he doesn't want you to care. It's just that probably he's now an adolescent no, in the age of puberty and he's trying to establish a status uh, among his friends and peers and he changed and we did not. No? So probably the attachment and the connection that we give to our children also has to uh, evolve, not really mutate, but evolve. No, it, it has to evolve no? because they also are evolving. No, communication probably that this is a very very uh, clear already um, category. No, communication when they were young, they ask a lot of whys, but now that they are in the adolescent, uh, sometimes we worry. No, when they ask too much whys, still. Most especially if you're giving rules and they ask you why. When they were still young, the wise, they are hungry for information. No? But now that they are in the adolescent, when you explain something and then I, they ask why, they are hungry for validation. No? They are hungry for validation. So our don'ts and our no's, I think most of the time you feel, why do I need to justify these don'ts and these no's? No? But of course, that's part of the change. No, that's part of the change. So I think as parents, we really have to study. No, uh, not formally, but uh, I think it's more effective no, if we will study the behavior of our own children. No, so decision making, of course, is uh, uh, our participation to the decision making process of our children. Uh, this somehow, um, if I can, if if we are to somehow. Um, uh, take a look at the pyramid no, or your triangle, one upright triangle and one uh, inverted triangle. I hope you can create a picture of what I'm trying to say. No, uh, You will actually see there the gradual release of responsibility if, if you are uh, familiar with, with such. No, Now that they are growing up, um, we have this gradual release of responsibility. You know? um, if you have this uh, pyramid um, paired together, you know, paired together, creating uh, somehow this, you know, and then if we will be drawing um, three lines or if we will be dividing it into three hierarchies or three separate compartments, you know, cutting across both pyramids, I hope that you are having a mental picture of what I'm saying. You know? And this is you. you know? On top is you. The first, the upright triangle is you. Ah, sorry. Yeah, the upright triangle is uh, the child, and then the inverted triangle is you. No, and then the middle part or the mid part, you have there, um, uh, us or we. No, uh, you have there the child, and then you have um, the parent there. No, and then of course the bottom part, both of the upright and the inverted, you have there again the child. And then you or the parent, no? So simply by looking at that, I hope you had it drawn no, on a sheet of paper so you can see there uh, the amount of responsibility that you are cascading no, uh, to this child or to your child in terms of decision making. No? Um, have you become absent in the decision making process? Uh, not, not really, not, not that much no hindi naman talaga nawala eh. it's just that you somehow cascaded no a certain amount of responsibility of uh, probably i am discussing both or these three no not not both but these three already no um 
And then, of course, um, attitudes and practices around discipline, okay? So, basically, these are the concepts. So, these are the concepts where uh, our role, no? our, our attachment and connection role, our communication role, our decision-making role, our responsibilities, our autonomy roles, our attitudes and practices around discipline. These are actually the considerations no? in designing or defining our um, role as a parent. Okay, so let's roll check. No, let's have a very quick roll check. So I have here a very simple presentation of uh, some. You need not answer this one. No, you need not. But of course, you have to uh, somehow think about it. No, am I raising my kids? No? Am I raising my kids to gain the strength? To uh, am I equipping them? No, to somehow fight the challenges of uh, this life of this world. No, am I? guiding them or am i raising them no to uh earn that needed degree you know that they love you know? uh not not the degree that you want you no know? but what what your uh, kid feels that he loves you no know? or where his interest is uh in or are we raising kids you no know? are we raising kids um i have been a principal for 14 years going to 15 I have been a teacher for almost 28 years now, as what I have mentioned to you. And our and, and I have worked with um, people ages 2 up to 82, you know, just like what I have mentioned a while ago. You know. And whether we like it or not, uh, our community, you know, uh, and I also had seen this uh, even in the um, in kindergarten, not only in in high school no or in elementary but i think we have to check our role no some of us are uh, teaching our kids to beat other kids in terms of awards in terms of accomplishments in terms of achievements no but then uh, should that really be the case no uh, or probably um uh, the children of your ate or of your kuya, I'm referring to our parent audience here, no? The children of, of, of or your nieces or nephews uh, are so accomplished, no? And you would like your children no, to be like them, no? So are we raising them or are we raising them, no? Uh, but of course, life is a race, no? Um, okay, but... Again, this is just a rhetorical question no, that I am posing right now. So hopefully, uh, after this session, you try to check, no? Because sometimes we are so preoccupied with uh, uh, providing, no? We are so preoccupied preparing for the future, no? And then um, how are we really no, looking at these things in the future, no? Okay. So, again, these are, but probably this is something uh, technical already, but, but of course, uh, uh, we are not to discount, of course, the, the, the level of audience that we have right now. No? So, these are, of course, another paradigm that's, that will somehow spell no? as to why we have conflicts, we have uh, differences no? in our uh, child-rearing practices, no? Uh, some of us have very high approval ratings in terms of uh, child rearing practices. Some of us uh, have been earning a lot of criticisms from our own uh, from our own relatives, no? as to how we raise our kids. No, um, but definitely uh, this could be because of no. This could be because of no. Even career uh, advices that we are giving our children. No? Uh, on the latter part of this presentation, I have a very short video. Um, which I also lifted from an advertisement of a particular university, not in the Philippines, but uh, abroad. No? Um, and you have their testimonies of parents as to uh, their plans for the future of their children. But uh, yeah, okay, let's just watch the video later. Okay, so in here we will see the inner circle. No, So these are actually the different uh, circles, No, the different circles that influence it, that influence. No? Um, the child rearing practices of a typical household or even uh the byproduct or the outcome of your child rearing practices no so definitely um uh 
uh, a child's risk or resilience no is dependent so much on his environment okay so the first circle or ecology no uh, that envelops him is of course the individual characteristics of the adolescent and the parent no uh, that's why they say uh, there is a generational factor no uh, the gap between the parent and the adolescent they are living in today's time while the parents are living in their time no um, but then uh, I, I do believe that parenting is never generational. No? Parenting is never generational. Probably it's just uh, we somehow, uh, or there was probably just a delay on the understanding of how our kids are right now, no? And that we have we are having difficulty reconciling, reconciling our past, our adolescent years no when we were growing up no? with with uh the adolescents present today so probably there is where the delay is but i i really do not believe that uh it's generational no na uh, there is a conflict between a parent and an adolescent because they are living in two different generations no or they live uh, in two def different generations but uh, i think we have to somehow uh eliminate no that that principle no because uh it, it is never generational no it, it relies so much on you as parent no being able to understand uh or empathizing no, empathizing with the current state of 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 your child right now and of course in return you know an adolescent uh if raised properly if educated well uh by his school then that and of course uh by his own domestic um, environment you no know, that of that adolescent of course know how to empathize also with uh, his parents you no know, but of course there is this reality that our individual characteristics somehow either make our child resilient or at risk you know? and then of course we have the interpersonal context you no know? um our interpersonal relationship uh, this also includes uh, that of uh, our peers of course here we could see interpersonal also no uh, but then we're pertaining to the individual characteristic of the parent no and that of the adolescent so uh, this is something to do also with uh, his um, his friends his group no his his community no? And then, of course, the social, cultural, the economic, the political, and the institutional context. No, uh, for for the Philippines, no, for the Filipinos, of course, uh, where culture dictates that education is uh, a very important uh, element. No, that we can leave no, among our children. No, so we may not have the richness of the material world, but as long as a parent can provide you know, the right and the needed education uh, to his or her child, then that is a barometer of his success as a parent. You know? uh, that, but of course, um, probably that is true in many parts of the world, you know? not, not only in the Philippines. But I am speaking you know, based on experience that uh, definitely you know, in the many parents that I have uh, converts, no, uh, they are so passionate with uh, with this thing, with this sending their kids to school. Um, uh, sometimes this, the, uh, there will be a kid who somehow is losing interest in uh, going to school. No? But then here is this parent who is so passionate, who, who is trying to to find ways, no. Uh, as to how he can encourage, no? But then, of course, uh, these matters, we talked about it, and we are successful enough, no, in attending to the need of the child, no? And actually, the approach of a parent who is uh, seeking, no, guidance also among the guidance cons uh, the guidance professional or the professionals of uh, any school, no? Not, not just our school, but any school, no? Um, is actually a sign no, of his his uh, intense care you know, to the uh, well-being of his child. You know? Okay, so okay, so another model that 
is my favorite. You know, uh, actually, I am fond of using this model, uh, though I, I found this in People Management, you know, uh, a book by David Fear. You know. Though, of course, there is a theory in psychology which, uh, which is uh, very much related to this one. I, I think that's the choice uh, theory. You know, um, but then this is a very simple presentation. You know? And I also um fond of uh, using this among uh, our teachers you know, because uh, I, I, this is really very, very applicable. Remember that a classroom is uh, a replica of a home, you know, of a home. So definitely this reality filter model is also applicable at home, not only in school, but of course at home. You no, know? so we are uh, a parent that did remember we are we, we we talked about generational gap no which I think um, I, I do not patronize much of the generational gap that we're talking no but uh, probably this is how um, we can explain it better you know that uh, definitely uh, we are confronted by the same realities no we are the same re we have the same realities. Um, the child has the choices, the, the child has this responsibility, the child has this uh, uh, opportunities, the child has this uh, responsibilities or chores, no? Uh, you're giving that to them because you were also given that when you were still young, no? So you were you, you were trying to somehow um, replicate, no? The, most especially if you, if you grew up so well, no? And you believe that uh, you had been raised properly, so you're trying to somehow repeat no repeat but then definitely our child has a filter our hindi po ito yung filter na ina enhance yung yung skin or yung yung look no uh, sa facebook or in in social media or in enhanced by technology no but of course we have this a uh, strain no a filter a filtering device and your child has a filtering device you even has a filtering device no so Probably, what you had is a different perceived reality. You no, know? you perceived it uh, positively that it helped that you were um, you were convinced. No, uh, to choose acts or actions accordingly. You no, know? according to the wishes also of your parents. You no, know? but then your adolescent, you no, know, might be having a different filter. Therefore, he has a different perceived reality, and then. If he has a different perceived reality, therefore his actions may different may be different from yours. No, so you may be given the same reality, no, uh, but then you totally have different filters. Therefore, there is a variation in the perceived reality, and so if there is a difference in perceived reality, definitely we will have two different results. No, one that is yours and one that is his. So whether the action or the choice of the child you know, is according to what you expected or probably in accordance to what you have planned, you know, um, still we have to remember that um, these are habits you know, that we have to remember you know, because in one lecture that I have, uh, part, I have uh, listened to, you no, know, I have learned the seven caring habits in parenting, and also there are seven deadly habits, you no, know, in parenting. So, if let's say, for example, in the choice of action is not according to your whims and wishes, you no, know, do we criticize? Do we blame? Do we complain? Do we nag? Do we threaten? Do we punish? Or do we even bribe or reward? No reward in this matter is bribing. No? So you need not put a sound to your inner voices, no? but please do answer this, okay? Or if they gave you, again, a result which is not according to your expectation. Do you listen? Do you accept? Do you respect? Do you negotiate differences? No? And of course, 
Do we support? Do we encourage? Do we trust? Do we listen? So these are the seven caring habits that all of us parents should keep on fostering on a daily basis. No? Sabi nga nila, nakakapagod, no? nakakapagod maging magulang. No? Uh, okay lang mapagod, pero huwag lang ma-stress. No? Kasi sabi nga natin is, uh, when you do something out of love, what you have is passion. No? But when, you're, when you do something just for the sake of doing it, then what you have is stress. You know, what you have is stress. So I, I hope that um, you, you find passion, no? even though, of course, it's exhausting. You know? um, but but exo- being exhausted is different. I, I hope I'm right, no? but probably I am using it as not as a jargon, but as a layman. No? Uh, you get tired, but not really stressed out. No? Kasi nakakapagod naman talaga ang maging nanay or ang maging tatay. Ano po? Talaga pong uh, it will test your physical strength. Okay? But then of course, you're ready for the next morning. No? Uh, you may be tired. You just sleep on it. No? And then in the morning, you're ready for the for the next challenge of the day. No? So seven caring habits. Let's let's try. No? Let's try. To make a checklist, no? Have I, no? Have I, uh, have I been doing the seven caring habits, no? Uh, to what degree? To what amount? No? To what intensity? Or have I been doing the seven deadly habits, no? Again, to what extent? To what degree? Make a checklist. After this uh, engagement, you try to make a checklist, no? Uh, because if there are more checks on the seven deadly habits than the seven caring habits, there are more opportunities for this one, there are more experiences for this one, then probably we have to think again. No? We have to think again. Um, you will probably ag- agree with me that uh, raising a child pose, uh, poses a lot of challenges, but uh, raising an adolescent poses more Difficult challenges. No? Okay, so as a parent in terms of uh, career decision making, no, so these are our key influencers. No, the kind of parent-child relationship that we develop. Are you partners? Ganon yun na talaga ang tanong kaagad natin. No, the kind of parent-child relationship they develop. No? Uh, are you friends? Are you friends with our with your children, no? Um, it says here, I only have 10, 10 more minutes to spare. And then the expectations parents have for their children's education and career. No? Uh, how do you set your expectations? No? Um, have you set? Ah, it, it's good no, to set your expectation. No? But try to determine whether the expectation is realistic or not because the child may not be giving you or showing you the truth, no? Uh, if you have so much expectations and it's too high for for our children, no? Uh, sabi nga sa management, uh, they will just lie, hide, and fake, no? Lying, hiding, and faking, no? Hey, it's not bad that we set uh, a particular goal, no? But make sure that it's a shared goal, no? Make, make sure that uh, it's a shared goal. Uh, you, 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 both of them, uh, both of you set that goal. No? The example they set for their children. No? Uh, this is a very big key influencer. No? How do you live your life? No? Is it worth emulating? No? Um, or in your profession, let's say. No? Um, uh, many of our children takes the profession or the career with, that had been taken by the parents, no? Hopefully, uh, because they really love it, no? Not just because, ay, wala kasi akong ibang, ano eh, ay, since si tatay ay, or ganito, at si nanay ay ganon, so, yun na rin yung kinuha, or mas maraming opportunities then. But, of course, uh, uh, there's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but then, hopefully, uh, of course, when we're talking about example, no, uh, make sure that, uh, it's worth emulating. No? The opportunities they offer their children to learn and develop. No? Do we 
provide the opportunities, no? And do we provide the right offer to opportunities? And of course, the values they show to their family, to their friends, and to the society. Um, so these are key influencers again. What kind of relationship do we have no, with our children? Uh, the, the expectations that we have set, and is it a shared expectation? No. Uh, the values, um, which is also a big example no, that we show our children. And then what opportunities do we offer? So here are a few tips no, on how uh, to help our child with career development. Okay. So encourage your children to get as much education as possible. I will just be reading this. Help them to discover their innate talents and skills. Develop their knowledge of the world of work. Teach them decision-making skills. Value gender equity and cultural diversity. Become aware of career resources. Of course, education and training opportunities, and observe the effects of work experience. No? So these are some help, helpful tips. No, so these are what we need to look out for, okay? Uh, because these are danger signs. So waiting until the last minute to make decisions. So if there are grade twelve um, kids who are listening right now, no, if we have, if if or if you have uh, children who are in the grade twelve, no. Have they decided really uh, the program that they will take in the tertiary? Because it's already enrollment season. When you switch to 2021, you no, know, a lot of uh, or our university particularly will be, you know, accommodating applicants for uh, the higher education you know, uh, program. So, but then have they decided? Waiting until the last time to make decisions. Now this is a danger sign. Okay, this is a danger sign. Um, unrealistic expectations, no? Um, caring to many higher level subjects in spite of poor reports from teachers, okay? Uh, promises to work miracles with study next term. Lacks approach to homework. Interference from social activities or a weekend job, which is funding their social life. And then, of course, uh, we select a course or the child selected a course because it's high paying, no? uh maraming maraming financial promises no or yeah uh, assurances no kaya yun ang kinuhang career okay uh if you may go back to that i sorry okay yeah i think uh everything is here okay so watch out for this one no most especially those who are uh with uh, students in the creme de la creme, you know, uh, most of them choose career because it's high paying. You know? I hope that you really love that career, you know? not just because it's high paying, but because uh, you have passion for the job. Okay? So this is a few simple rules that I can impart to you. you know? So to our parents, be involved, but not in control. Advice, but do not decide and support, but to not dominate. So this is uh, a short clip that I have uh, mentioned a while ago. No, So let's try to, I will not be explaining this anymore because it is so ex self-explanatory. I work in Post Malaysia. I'm in the uh, advertising line. Uh, I do voiceovers. I'm currently a partner in HR outsourcing firm. Uh, I was more more into the hotel catering and management. My father's a pilot, so. Uh, I'll probably be a pilot. I do not like to take orders. So I thought to myself, the right position is to be a manager or to own your own company. Um, spoke to my dad. 
and he said, "Yeah, sure." Actually, he wanted me to join an office, you know, nine-to-five job. I, I think it'd be a much better, stable job for you instead of this. We had a military upbe- upbringing, so uh, we didn't cross the line, I guess. I wasn't in a very stable position at that time. I I want him to do programming, computer programming. That Being a parent, you know, you kind of think, you know, okay, you want your kids to go into something which everyone needs. I've got a tax consultant. Oh, I need a tax consultant. Yes, Pop. Yes, Ben. Hello. Yes, Ben. Hello, Ate. Uh-uh. Ate, nag-brown out dito, nakatag internet. Standby ka, bibigyan ka namin ng queue kung pwede ka na uli mag-proceed. Okay, uh, okay. Sa amin, dito uh, may kuryente. Uh, ano na? May, may kuryente dito. Oo, dito, dito. Biglang na wala tapos nakatag internet. Basta on the net sis queue ang pagbabalikwahan. Okay, so mag-stop sharing okay. ako. Ah, saan, saan, saan ako naputol na part? Uh, ah, okay. Actually, dun sa, dun sa ano, yung nagsishare ka na ng mga ano, ng mga tips. Okay, okay. After nung dalawang habits. Okay. Ah, mat- matagal okay, na. Sige. Okay, sige. Tatakbo lang ako sa ano, tatakbo lang ako sa, uh, sa CCMS. Okay, okay. 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 Is this fine? Okay. So I, I was notified that we are having a technical problem or there was a brownout. So, but then I can still proceed. So let me proceed. So, okay. Okay, so I think uh, we can uh, start again with this part. No? Um, so I keep on switching back and forth from from this slide to this slide. Okay, um, Okay, and then we said that uh, after this lecture, after this presentation, probably you can uh, prepare a checklist you know, and take a look at your experiences. Take a look at your... Uh, happenings, no, the daily events uh, that you shared with your children. And take a look, no, take a look as to which have more ticks or which have more check marks, no. Um, have you uh, committed more of this over this one? Or you are in a safe possession because you have committed all this and almost none of this, no. So probably that is an exercise that we can do um later or that you can do later after this one so this also i have shared a while ago i 
um, to be honest, I, I am not sure if I have to repeat this one, but I have already passed through this slide. But since we had a technical glitch you know, uh, with the power supply, it's not actually the our um, uh, facilities you know, that had a problem, but it was the power supply that somehow interrupted our presentation. But then for the sake of, uh, for just, just for us to be safe. You know, uh, so these are, again, I would like to reiterate, these are the key influencers. You no. Know? The expectations that you have, you know, the expectations that you have for for your children, are these expectations created by you, or is are, are, is this a shared expectation? You no, know? is is this expectation the goal that you have said set, or is that expectation or is that goal a shared goal? You no, know, a shared goal. What kind of examples do you show your children? You no, know? what kind of examples? What kind of values do you practice at home? What are the opportunities? You no. Know? that you offer to your children? You know? And of course, what kind of parent-child relationship do you have? Are you partners? Are you friends? Or are you leader and follower? You know? So hopefully there's a, a very good, beautiful friendship, you know, partnership that is uh, lingering in your parent-child relationship. Okay. So these are the tips. You no, know? These are the tips that I have also shared already. So I will just be reading them again. Uh, encourage your, tri your children to get as much education as possible. Help them to discover their innate talents and skills. Develop their knowledge of the world of work. Teach them decision-making skills. Do not decide for them, but teach them. You know? uh, teach them how to value gender equity and cultural diversity. Become aware of career opportunities, education and training opportunities, and observe the effects of work experience. You no, know? so and these, of course, are the danger signs. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, so these are the danger danger signs. Let's just repeat it. Waiting until the last minute to make decisions, unrealistic expectations, promises to work miracles, lax approach to homework, interference from social activities, carrying too many higher level subjects, you no, know, and then of course selecting a work or a job or a course that is high paying. And then, of course, these are a simple rules, a few simple rules that I have shared also. No? Uh, be involved, but not in control. Advise, but do not ad decide. And support, but do not dominate. So uh, I think this is where the power interruption happened no? in the sharing of the video. Okay. I work in Post Malaysia. I'm in the uh, advertising line. Uh, I do voiceovers. I'm currently a partner in HR outsourcing firm. Uh, I was more more into the hotel catering and management. My father's a pilot, so. Uh, I'll probably be a pilot. I do not like to take orders. So I thought to myself, the right position is to be a manager or to own your own company. I um, spoke to my dad and he said, yeah, sure. Actually, he wanted me to join an office, you know, 9 to 5 job. But I think it'd be a much better stable job for you instead of this. We had a military upbringing, so... Uh, we didn't cross the line, I guess. I wasn't in a very stable position at that time. I, I want him to do programming, computer programming. That Being a parent, you know, you kind of think, you know, okay, you want your kids to go into something which everyone needs. I've got a tax consultant. I need a tax consultant. She's in Mandarin school, so I would Imagine that she would want to take a translator in Mandarin language or a newscaster in Mandarin language. No, not at all. As parents, of course, we want to have a say in our children's future. Uh, 
no, I don't think so. Not this year. I need to push you more. You have to concentrate on your studies because next year you are going to go to college. I'm afraid that she won't give me to do whatever I want. And Mom, I know you really want me to do computer science and making applications, but I'm sorry to say, but it's just not my calling. She wants me to be a translator, actually, because I can speak three languages. I think he's always leaned towards maybe accountancy or law. Mom, I need to tell you that I want to be an interior designer. Mom, that. I'm sorry, I can't go with like, your decision for what you want from me. And I, I really just want to do what I want to do, and that is graphic design. Dad, this isn't easy for me to say, but I want to be a journalist. <sighs> well... Admire her courage, you know, to actually be... Uh, truthful about what she wants to do so I'll have to respect that even though if I may have my way I want her to be something else but it's entirely her future and I believe she's on the right path <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that's what you're gonna do yeah. <laughs> 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 I didn't know. Big I like her to study something that'll make her rich. <laughs> uh, no, I want her to study what she wants to do. So, that's a very short clip, but it tells us a lot. Uh, we are talking about our children's future. Yeah, you heard me right. It's our children's future, not our future. No, but, we, but we participate, of course. No? So, I will just be skipping this uh, next video. No? Um, since uh, we had this uh, interruption, I, I might be taking uh, much of uh, the allotted time for the other participants. So I will be uh, skipping that part. So uh, probably, so this is my third, no, from the last uh, slide. The last slide is my thank you slide. Okay, so these are hopefully uh, a helpful a helpful set of takeaways, no, I guess. Um, and this actually appeared or occurred in the various slides that uh, we have uh, uh, shared you know, uh, this afternoon. So probably this is just somehow a summation of that in quotes or in uh, passages. You no, know? so parenting should be slow, it should be steady, and it should be consistent. You know? Of course, when we said this, uh, most especially when uh, children are in the formative years, no, uh, it has to be steady and consistent. But of course, when you are raising an adolescent, uh, um, this it it still has to be steady, no. It has to be consistent. It has to be, you know, sweet and flowing, no. Uh, the slow, the pace, it's it's up to you. It's up to the parents, no. But it definitely has to be steady and consistent. No? Um, uh, from self-esteem, no, to self-efficacy. Okay, um, we used to praise them. We used to give reward, no, to our children. We 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 tell them very good. No, you have aced the test. You are very good. We are actually helping them boost, no, uh, their self-esteem. But then the question now is, uh, how have we boosted, no, the self-efficacy? No, it's it's his appreciation of his own outcome, no. One's action turned to an acceptable outcome, to an appropriate outcome. No, that is actually uh, self-efficacy. Were we able to promote our engagement to our children from self-esteem to self-efficacy? No. 
uh, be concerned with the child, no? be concerned with the person, not just his outputs. No? If you will be give, given, giving me a longer time, probably, uh, this very short sentence here, uh, a lot of this explains uh, uh, why students cheat, why, why, why learners cheat, no? because sometimes we are so concerned with the output. Not really with the person, but of course, this is already what a presentation of the takeaways. We are not to discuss this anymore because we have this achieved already in the previous discussion, you know, or in the previous sharing. So be concerned with the person, not just the output. Help them get their natural best instead of getting the best out of them. And you are in charge. As a parent, yes, you are in charge. So, but not that, just that. No, because we have to take care of those in our ch charge. No, you take care of those in your charge. It is not generational, just like what I have mentioned. So we have to teach empathy. No, and we have to teach perspective and show good perspectives. Okay, um, if you are, if you have heard of the six facets of understanding, no, uh, you have there explain, interpret, uh, apply. Um, and these are new additions, no? Because when we talk about understanding, it's very cognitive, right? It's, it's highly cognitive. But in the uh, new brain research, no? So uh, a manifestation of deep understanding is having empathy and learning how to create perspectives. Now, these, these are, are uh, good manifestations no? of high understanding. As parents, we have to buy or widen our blinders. Yes, we are influenced by tradition. We are influenced by our family heritage, by the legacy of our parents and our grand grandparents. No, but then we have to widen our blinders. No, because your kids might be seeing things uh, which actually are not um, reached. No, by our vision, by our visual, because of the limited blinder that we have. So we have to remove our ego. No, from time to time. And of course, don't just do something. Stand there. You might say, Balik dahad, don't just stand there, do something. No? But yeah, really, this is the intent. Don't just do something. No? Because parents are fond of what? Doing a lot of things. No? And, but then we realize sometimes our children pala needs just us standing there with them. No? So don't just do something. Stand there. and develop responsibility, the ability to respond, not just handle responsibility, manage responsibility, but we have to somehow help them develop the ability to respond correctly in the many situations that will confront them along the way. And of course, their ability to respond is defined by the right habits, the right skill set, and the right mindset. So these are the references that I have used in this uh, engagement. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ma'am Reng. I am just pausing for a while and contemplating and uh, refreshing, as you just said, earlier ma'am no um uh, one of the purpose really of this talk is is to, to refresh us at habang nakikinig po ako sa inyo i just i, I just imagine the parents uh, sitting with their child at habang pinapakinggan ang inyong mga salita at habang pinanood din ang video na naipalabas kanina um it's like uh, uniting them no uniting them and uh, reminding the parents na uh, yung yung sinabi niyo po kanina no it it, it, it is track me uh, gave me an impact yung makinig uh, really about listening thank you for that ma'am um uh, uh meron din po tayong uh, mga comments sa facebook uh, which really appreciate uh, your words and i believe that this uh, comments are from our parents also from uh, our students uh, also ma'am thank you for your gracious words you have uh, shared with us the ecological model of adolescent risk and resilience. 
uh, reality filter model. Ang ganda ng ma'am. Uh, sabi ko nga habang nanonood ako, uh, pati na rin sa mga guro, sobrang applicable ito. Kasi ang mga guro din, ang uh, nagsisibing magulang din sa mga estudyante. Kaya ito po ay magulang sa tahanan, magulang sa paaralan. We have uh, teachers not just from MSEUF, but also teachers from a different uh, campuses. That is why it's really a great avenue for us to learn, lalong-lalo na po na kayo po ay isang nanay, kayo po ay isang ina. Kaya magandang kayo mga oportunidad po ito. Uh, you shared with us also the seven caring habits and seven deadly habits. And kanina si Ma'am Reng ha, chinalenge tayo na mag-checklist. <laughs> sa atin po mga magulang, sige, we can try po yung checklist. Even sa mga teachers, try din natin kasi oo nga, no, asan kaya tayo dito? Ano kaya yung ating mga... Uh, uh, madalas na nagagawa tayo kaya ay nasa seven caring habits or tayo ay nasa uh, seven deadly habits. This is not to threaten at us, but this is more of encouraging us and reminding us what to do and how to do it. Uh, napakaganda po ng inyong ibinahagi. Uh, also, yung helpful take takeaways, I believe yung ating mga magulang at mga esensyante ay isinulat din ang uh, kanilang mga natutunan. Maraming maraming salamat po, Ma'am Reyna Di Pasumbal. As usual, as usual, when you speak, you speak with so much power. <laughs> and as you speak, it's like nurturing. You're indeed a nurturing mom and ma'am. But, but you had a power interruption a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Pero sabi nga, nothing can stop us for this, uh, in this great opportunity to address our parents and students on the very important, very vital topic na dapat naman po talagang napag-uusapan. Yeah. Thank you very, um, very uh, much, Ma'am Gail. Yeah. And hopefully, um, not, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully okay. we were able to, uh, hopefully we were able to engage somehow and help parents also uh, refresh, you know, uh, the practices, you know, that they, uh, had been and have been applying you know, in raising their kids. So again, raise them well and not raise them well. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Gail. Certainly, we've learned a lot from you, Mom. Uh, and on this note, Mom, we would like to uh, give the certificate of appreciation. Let me just read the citation, Mom. Manuel S. Inverga, University Foundation, Office of the Vice President for External Relations, Institutional Marketing and Promotions, Lucenas, Philippines. This Certificate of Appreciation is hereby given to Mamrena V. Pasumbal for her time and effort as the resource speaker in the online career education series, My Parents, Partners, Inclusive and Inspiring Career held December 9, 2020 via Facebook and YouTube Live. Given this ninth day of December 2020 at MSEUF Lucena City, Philippines, signed Mr. Celso D. Habalia, Vice President for External Relations. Ang amin pong taos-pusong pasasalamat, Ma'am Reyna. Thank you po. Thank Ang you amin po. na is the basic ed department. <laughs> of, of course, Ma'am Reyna po ay... Yes, ma'am. Pero sasamahan niyo pa rin po kami, ano, as we um, have the Q question and answer uh, later, the, the, the panel interview. But first, uh, I'll be calling first our senior high school coordinators, ma'am. Uh, muli po, uh, ang aming pong paalala, earlier we've uh, uh, reminded you na kung kayo po ay may mga tanong, if you have questions, uh, queries, no? Just send it. Uh, type ni lamang sa ating uh, chat box sa ating FB Live. At ang ating pong coordinators ay handa para sagutin ang inyong mga katanungan. Kasama ko si Denise, no? Si Denise later ang uh, magbabasa ng inyong mga tanong. If you're a parent, go ahead po. Nanay, tatay, mama, papa. Just, just send your questions. Uh, if you have uh, things to ask, uh, if you're a student, just go ahead. Uh, lalo na yung ating mga grade 10, no? We are talking about career opportunity. Ano ba yung gusto kong strength? Ano ba yung gusto kong uh, track na napasukin? So, this is a great avenue for you to ask. Uh, ano nga ba ang gusto ninyong uh, tahakin? Of course, we would like to inform you that certificates will be provided to those who have attended the full duration of webinar. And the link will also be provided later in the program. Right, Denise? Yes, Miguel, that's right. 
Alright, so a little later, makikita ninyo ang links sa ating uh, Facebook Live and also sa ating YouTube Live on how to get your e-certificates. This time, we'll be having privileged speech from the senior high school coordinators. For 10 minutes or less, they will share with us what career opportunities are ahead for this is from different tracks. Again po, habang nagsasalita ang ating coordinators, maaari po kayong mag-send ng inyong mga questions or queries, no? Again, for uh, sa lahat, para po ito sa lahat, parents, students, uh, teachers, kayo man ay invergan o maging uh, mula sa iba't ibang uh, paaralan dito sa Quezon Province. Let's start. For accountancy and business management, we have Ma'am Jennifer Tadiosa. Let's unmute, ma'am, the your microphone po. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am Gail. Okay, parents and students, good afternoon. I am here to present to you the, the ABM track of Manuel is in Verga University Foundation. Okay. I can now share the... Okay. Okay, what can I do here? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Gail, Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, po. You full screen. Paano siya full screen? Of course, again, um... Uh, I just just click F5 ma'am, F5. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um again, no, um, I just have uh, uh mentioned Ma'am Jennifer uh Tadiosa. She is the coordinator of accountancy business management strand, and she will share with us any career opportunities and perhaps. Uh, she will also share uh, yung ating mga uh, student activities that they are having uh, in uh, ABM. Okay, again, habang hinihintay natin si Ma'am Jen. There you go. Ayan ito na. Of course, while Ma'am Jennifer Tadiosa uh, is preparing, again, don't forget to like and share our um webinar for today it's hashtag mseuf career ed one of the very reason is because sobrang dami nating natutunan kanina sa talk ni ma'am ray and let's be generous enough to share it with other parents as well uh and dami rin nating takeaways na very timely very relevant and very applicable Gail, okay Are we all set? Yes, yes. ma'am. Just click F5 and you can proceed, ma'am, to your uh, presentation. Okay, again, um, inaayos lang po ni uh, ma'am uh, Tadiosa ang kaniyang uh, presentation. Of course, a shout out to mga taga ABM na uh, mananakatuto I believe you grabe yung support no even yung mga teachers natin from the ABM grabe ang support and of course yung mga grade 10 students natin just sit and relax there at ating pakikinggan ano nga ba yung mga career opportunities that awaits you and what are the uh, student activities that uh, the ABM had okay siguro for this past few few uh, for the past year kasi alam naman natin that we are having a sort of challenge no this season but of course this season will not stop us to provide uh with such uh education needs na maari i-address ng ating pamantasan and of course ng uh, bawat uh track or strand and wag natin kalilimutan, sabi nga natin, this is a webinar series, meaning to say, bukas, meron ulit tayo. And also, on Friday, 
At itong amazing sa IMP kasi ngayon pa lang, 2020, all set na ang ating webinar series for January. Kaya tayo po ay uh, uh, i-calendar na, iset na sa ating calendar ang ating webinar series. Tomorrow, we'll be having another one and also on Friday. All right, Sir Arby, are we uh, are ready now for Mujen? And of course, a little while, no, we will also have the Humanities and Social Sciences, uh, the STEM, and also TAGS. Again, okay, for grade 10 students, maraming maraming salamat ha sa inyong... Uh, Takikisa sa ating webinar this afternoon. Of course, I know that some of you, or I say most of you, are sitting with your parents as you watch this online webinar. Are we ready, Mang Jen? I'm ready. I will. All right. Ready. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much, Gail. Go ahead. Parents, parents and students, good afternoon. I am here to present to you the ABM track of Manuel East Inverga University Foundation. Dear students, have you ever thought of owning and running a business in the future? Or are you next in line and managing a family business? Have you ever thought of working in a corporate setting, like being an accountant in a business and specialist? If so, the academic strand ABM is perfect for you. ABM stands for Accountancy, Business, and Management. This academic strand is for those who want to improve their knowledge in business management and strategies. It introduces you to new perspectives on how to form and manage a business and how companies manage cash flows. It also gives insights to the corporate world. ABM will teach you how to cater to consumers and needs and make the business progressive. Okay. What can you learn and expect from the ABM strand? Well, a lot. You can actually plan out your dream business from making business proposal to making projected financial statements. You can even design your own workplace or products, which will eventually help you strategize for your future journey as an entrepreneur. Okay, number one, you can unleash your entrepreneurial spirit. Business planning can guide you in determining the right target market as well as how you can actually reach them and promote your products or services. Through ABM, you will learn to create eye-catching marketing materials. You will also develop your communication skills especially when dealing with future clients, partners, or investors. Number two, you can learn the language of business. Students, do you want to be an accountant, auditor, or be in other finance-related positions? This strand will help you understand financial terms necessary and communicating using the language of business, which is accounting. Number three, you will enhance your business acumen. Through ABM, you will learn how to identify the market standing of a business through financial statements. This gives opportunity of becoming consultant or an analyst. You can guide investors in making the right investment, and you can also help them further improve the operations and grow their companies. Studying accountancy, business, and management can actually lead you to a number of interesting paths. Here are some of the options you can. Number one path is employment. Since ABM focuses on the fundamentals of business management and finance, the subjects you will study under this strand are legal business, organizations, and marketing. And this will certainly equip you with job-ready skills and knowledge you need to succeed, to succeed in the corporate world. Number two, college. Aside from entry-level jobs, you can definitely take your career path further 
by pursuing a college course. In highly competitive corporate world, earning a university degree will not only help you gain the knowledge and skills that you need, but also boost your chances in landing your dream job. Some of the courses fit for ABM that you can take are Business Administration, Economics, Human Resource Management, Marketing, Banking and Finance, Entrepreneurship, Hospitality Management, Tourism, and Accountancy. Number three, Path Business. Did you ever dream of put, putting up your own business in the future? The best thing about senior high school is that the options you have are not just limited in climbing up the corporate ladder. Your senior high school subjects in ABM will help you start your own business. Who knows? You could be the country's next top entrepreneur. ABM is indeed a very interesting strand. Not only is it beneficial to your own to your career and skills, but also in developing your personality, as it helps you to go out of your comfort zone and teach you to take risks. You also get to communicate and socialize with others, as well as learn how to be professional and accountable. Remember, no one in the business can ever be successful without taking risks. With ABM, you will know your numbers, balance everything, and it will be a credit to your professions. Mga mag-aaral, tara na sa Inverga University at pagyamanin hindi lang ang inyong kaalaman, kundi payabungin ang inyong pagkatao sa pamamagitan ng magagandang aktividad na huhubok sa inyong mga talento. By this, choose Inverga U, choose ABM. Thank you very much. Uh, you can watch our the simple video na ginawa ng mga students namin. As a student with the Wells and Berga University Foundation Group, which the previous graduates with business knowledge, with leadership and management skills and professionalism, ABM students are trained, skilled, and have globally competitive leaders and professionals in their chosen fields. ABM program opens the door towards business-related courses. If you want to be entrepreneurs, managers, accountants, economists, flight attendants, and financial analysts, you to choose ABM. The ABM plan helps you become more equipped with skills and knowledge that will help impact your future decision making. Choosing ABM is choosing to be more future oriented. <laughs> Accountancy business and management be both professionals. That's more. Be wrong. And there we have it. Napanood natin ang audiovisual presentation of the accountancy business and management. And hearing the OST of basic ed department gives me a thrill. Thank you so much, Ma'am Jennifer Tadiosa. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am. Ma okay, bye.
Next, we have the coordinator for Humanities and Social Sciences. We have Mr. Nico Del Moro. Let's unmute, sir, uh, your microphone. Okay, take two, ma'am. Okay, so magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Magandang hapon, Ma'am Gail. Magandang hapon po sa mga magulang at sa mga estudyante na nanonood sa atin. Naniniwala ako galing pa sila sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Quezon at iba't ibang schools. Yeah. Di ba, Ma'am di ba, Ma Gail? Tama ba? Okay, okay. so uh, yes, sir. I'm Nico Del Moro and I'm the track coordinator of Humanities and Social Sciences. Okay, I'm here to present to you the YUMS program of MSEUF. Okay, so allow me to share my screen. Okay, wait. Kita na po ba, ma'am? Not yet, sir. Ah, wait. Yeah, okay na, ma'am? Okay na po. There we have it. Go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, so again, magandang hapon po. Um, okay, so MSE of Basic Education Department offers programs for senior high school that caters to the students' field of interest and prepares them to their formal transition to tertiary education. And one of the strands offered by Manuel S. Virgo University is Hume's strand or Humanities and Social Sciences. Okay, so ano ba tong humanities and social sciences? Marahil lang ilan sa atin, ngayon pa lang itong maririnig. Ano, baka po sakaling, baka kasi sinasabi lang sa atin ng mga anak natin, mapa, gusto kong mag -yums. ano Pero sa atin pong mga magulang, ano po ba itong yums? Ano? So para mas maintindihan po natin, ipapaliwanag ko po sa inyo, what is yums and why choose yums? Ano? So why choose to be humanistang and vergista? Okay? So first, uh, what is UMS? Okay, so UMS stands for Humanities and Social Sciences. UMS focuses on developing students' expression of creativity, critical reasoning, and effective communication skills. This strand offers an academic program designed to prepare our students who wish to pursue tertiary education in the field of education, humanities, and social sciences. Actually, napakadami pong... Uh, Disiplina, ano, na, na kaugnay, di, na nakapasok dito sa humanities and social sciences. Okay, so uh, if you wish to pursue uh, these college programs, then UMS is the right strand for you. If you wish to pursue, pursue psychology, philosophy, political science, international studies, languages, literature, communications, social work, foreign studies, sociology, teacher education, journalism, criminology, and such. Sabi ko nga po, napakadaming disciplines under humanities and social sciences. Then, kung gusto niyo itong mga to, then UMS is the right strand for you. Okay? So, why choose UMS? Ano, bakit nyo uh, dapat piliing maging isang envergistang humanista? Okay, decide on UMS if you wish to be an educator media person, psychologist, guidance counselor, police officer, lawyer, government official, social worker, an artist or a writer, and other related careers. This strand covers a wide range of disciplines that study different human conditions, human behavior, and societal changes. Especially nowadays, ano, we, have, we are facing different social issues at mas kailangan natin ngayon ng mga helping professionals ano mas kailangan natin ngayon ng mga social scientists ano na makakatulong para umangat ang society natin okay so uh, pagdating naman po sa mga guro ano so it is managed by committed competent and experienced administrators and faculty members to ensure that quality education is integrated into a curriculum that prepares 21st century learners okay so uh uh, especially this new normal, uh, our teachers are trained to deliver flexible learning from the preparation of learning modules to the delivery 
of Flexible Education. Shout out po sa mga uh, faculty members ng YUMS na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Okay, these are some of the activities of YUMS na classroom and uh, sa labas ng classroom na mga activities. So hindi ko na po isa-isahin, ipa-flash ko na lang po. Yan po yung ilan sa mga activities na isinasagawa ng mga estudyante natin. Yan. Okay. Okay, so maraming salamat po. Para mas lalo po natin uh, maintindihan at uh, malaman ano ba ang ginagawa ng mga estudyante ng yung sa Inverg University, gusto ko pong mapanood nyo o tunghayan po natin ang isang maikling video presentation na mapapanood nyo. Manuel Sanverga University Foundation Basic Education Senior High School Department is a diverse community composed of different individuals. Individuals with different characters that divides us into different strands. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, humanities and social sciences, accountancy and business management, tags composed of TBL, arts and design, HE, and ICT. We have our own characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses that separates us apart from others. With this diversity, let's just... What could this fun? Humanities and social sciences, also known as humans, this strategy focus on academics. We are trained to do paperwork, essays, review article, and such. We are also on the dramatic side. New plays, dramas, poems, and prompted speech, declamation, and such. These are the common characteristics of humans. But now, let's be deeper. Hard work and effort is our key on everything. A normal presentation will not work with us. We show our creative side on everything we do. We also pair our talent to our co-leaders and our friends. Compassion and empathy, one another is important factors in becoming one of us. Rather that all these attributes again, we are more than that. Except for being good at academics, we are also good in sports. We strive harder to enhance all our talents, but before that success, we still have paths to go. There are paths that every human should learn to do. Communication in the social world. First, communication. This is the most important part, the most essential part of all the aspects of communication. Communication It brings people together. It's bridges that serves as ways for It is a way to make the both things and steps under the screen. Communication is the way. Second is Essential solutions to problems which cause emotional turmoil. Seek to improve communication and coping skills. Strengthen self esteem and promote behavior change and optimal mental health. Counseling promotes autonomy with the client. It helps individuals to cope up with their problems and dilemmas that they cannot face on their own. Empathy and understanding is essential in counseling. Because everyone should be healthy, not just in physical state, but also in mental state. Lastly is social work. Social work is a profession concerned with helping individuals, families, groups, and communities to enhance their individual and collective well-being. It aims to help people develop their skills and their ability to use their resources in those of the community to resolve problems. Social work is a practice-based profession and an academic discipline that promotes social change and development, social cohesion and the empowerment and liberation of people. 
principles of social justice, human rights, collective responsibility, and respect for diversities are central to social work. Little amount of empathy and help is very powerful. It can cause little help with result in a huge change. These are the principles in becoming a young student. Every attribute is important because each of these will be our stepping stone on becoming successful professionals that is not afraid to know the truth, that wants the reality behind this wall of lies. We are the future helping individuals that prioritize the sake of others before our profit itself. The future of the nation will be better with the help of humanists. Don't be afraid to be one of us. Stand up and be part of this wonderful strand and open your eyes and see the reality that is waiting for you to see. Okay, thank you so much po with that. I am inviting uh, you to enroll at MSEF Yumstrand. Join us and realize your dreams with us. Thank you so much po. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Mr. Nico Del Moro, the coordinator of Humanities and Social Sciences. For Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, we have Dr. Victor Oribe. Okay, sa mapagpalang hapon po sa ating lahat, parents and students who are present here today, advance Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to all of us. This is Victor Oribe, your STEM coordinator of the Senior High School Department of the Manuelas and Vega University Foundation. Okay, so let me share my screen first. Okay na po, ma'am, yung screen? Yes, sir. Ma'am Gail? Yes, sir. Yes, okay sir. Na, Go ahead, sir. Okay po. Yes, sir. Clear po, yes. Okay na, ma'am, yung screen? Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay. So, this is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. My dear parents and students, the only question that we're going to answer this afternoon is why? Why STEM? Why science, technology, engineering, and mathematics? My dear parents, why you need to enroll your son or your daughter in STEM track? Or, my dear students, why you need to choose STEM as your chosen track in your senior high school year? Okay? Actually, the difference of STEM curriculum with other strands and track is that it focuses on advanced concepts and topics. Okay, like for example, physics, chemistry, pre-calculus, basic calculus, earth science. These subjects or these basic concepts or advanced concepts and topics rather, it will help us or will help you to succeed in your higher education or in your college. Okay, so under this STEM track, you can become a pilot or an architect or an astrophysicist or a biologist, or a chemist, an engineer, a dentist, a nutritionist, a nurse, a doctor, and a lot more, okay? And if you're interested in maritime engineering, STEM, of course, is the right track for you, okay? And for the people who love being outdoors, STEM, is the track for you. You can get a degree varying from agricultural engineering, animal science, food technology, horticulture, forestry, to veterinary medicine. Okay, so if you want to take civil engineering, chemical engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, electrical engineering and communication engineering, industrial engineering and mechanical engineering, of course, STEM is so fitted for you since the subject or the curriculum is designed for these courses. Okay, 
If you want to become a doctor, nurse, pharmacist, physicist, dentist, medical technologist, of course, the subject related to these courses like anatomy and physiology ay magiging mas madali para sa iyo because of your background in biology and chemistry under the STEM curriculum. Okay. Of course, mathematics and science is the heart of STEM curriculum. Different technical career paths are open for you to take on. Like for example, banking, civil service, financial services, consulting, retail, and it become your play playground in the near future. Okay, so here are some reasons why you need to take STEM as STEM strand. Okay, number one, of course, it, it builds resilience. Okay, in STEM curriculum, it, it stresses on the value of failure as a learning exercise, which allows students to embrace mistakes as a part of their learning process. With this, it allows students to build confidence and, of course, resilience. After all, you will realize that the failure, that failure rather, is a part of a process that ultimately led to success. The second one is in encourage experimentation. In STEM curriculum, the main idea is let's try and see. Okay, this type of attitude will encourage with STEM learning during the K-12 to years. STEMs allow students to do experiments and take risks during the learning process. That's why in STEM curriculum, it encourages experimentation. The next one is it encourages teamwork. STEM curriculum can be taught to students to all ability levels. So, mahina ka man, magaling ka man, o excellent ka man sa lahat ng larangan, pwede mong kunin ang STEM. Because it can be taught to all students of all ability levels. Students are of varying levels of ability, can work together in teams to find a solution to problems, record the data, write reports, give presentations, and many others. The end result is a student who can stand how to collaborate with others and thrive in a theme-oriented environment. Okay, the next one, of course, is encourage knowledge application. STEM, uh, STEM curriculum, rather, encourage knowledge application. In STEM curriculum, students are taught skills that can use in a real-world situation. So, madali yung manapag-aaralan nila dito yung maia apply agad-agad nila. This motivates students to learn as they know that the skills they achieve can be utilized immediately in ways that positively in, impact them on their lives, particularly on their loved ones. So, madali nilang ma-apply yung kanilang mga natutunan dito. That's why it encourages knowledge application. The next one is encourage tech use or tech use. Okay. STEM curriculum teaches students about the power of technology and innovation. So, when students encounter new technologies, it will be, the students are so prepared to embrace them instead of being hesitant or being careful. Okay, the next one, of course, is encourage adaptation. To succeed in life, students have to be able to apply what they have learned to a variety of scenarios. So, para in, in, in curriculum ng STEM, para inilalagay na natin yung bata doon sa current situation. So yung mga scenarios na natunay na nangyayari sa lipunan ay kanya nang i-apply inside the classroom. Okay, STEM curriculum teaches students to adopt the concept that they learn to various iter iteration of problems or issues. Okay, the next one is it teaches problem solving. Ito yung pinakamahalaga sa lahat. STEM curriculum teaches students on how to solve problems by using their critical thinking skills. By engaging STEM learning experiences, students learn how to examine problems and then create a plan to solve them. Okay, so let us try to take a short look on the building or kung saan na doon 
ang uh, STEM kung saan naroon ang mga classroom. This is a new high school, uh, senior high school building natin. Okay? And uh, yan ang ating mga kisura ng ating room. Okay? So this is uh, one taken during the orientation. Tingnan po natin kung ano karami ang ating mga estudyante. Ang pinakamarami sa atin ay uh, STEM of course during the general uh, orientation natin and some of the student or the classroom activity natin. Okay, so yan, yan lang ito sa mga activities natin. Uh, Pinaruward lang ni Sir Jade kanina yung mga pictures sa akin. And then uh, during the intramural natin, of course, some of the testimonials ng mga graduates namin. Okay, sila lang yung nag-send sa atin, mga informations nila. Of course, uh, yung mga student natin from STEM na nag-top one during the entrance examination nila in different schools or universities in the Philippines. So makikita natin sila. Okay? And uh, yun lamang ang aking uh, presentation about the uh, why you need to choose uh, STEM as your chosen track and uh, be a part of the Enverga University. So intayin po namin kayo dito sa Enverga University na maging bahagi ng aming uh, kasaysayan. Okay? So, yun lang po. At uh, maraming salamat and hope to see you soon here at MSEUF. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Dr. Oribe. Maraming salamat po. And I believe ang ating mga estudyante from STEM are also watching. Again, our grade 10 students are with us this afternoon. Maraming maraming salamat for watching. Of course, don't forget to like and share our webinar this afternoon. Thank you so much again, Dr. Oribe. Thank you, Ma'am Gail. All right, for tags, we have Mr. Leo Untalan. Sir Leo. Hello, Ma'am Gail. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon po sa lahat ng parents natin, mga students na nakikinig sa atin ngayon from around the, our province and actually from uh, other countries. Kasi I saw a chat kanina, inquiries coming from Dubai. So we are being yes. watched online. Uh, thank you for uh, following us here in our live uh, career orientation education series. No, uh, I, am he I am here to present to you the, the TBL, the Arts and Design, Gas and uh, sports track of Manuel S. Enverga University Foundation. No? It's not. It's no secret to us that uh, the TVL, the Arts and Design tags, or the tags, are uh, the fourth strand actually in the curriculum of K to twelve. No, uh, there are some misleading information with regards to ta to to tags, TVL, etc. Because uh, they think that if they took uh, TVL strand or tags or tracks, uh, the next chapter of their lives is to work. But that's not it. No? Kasi even though you take TVL courses, you can still pursue your college no? by spiraling. Okay? Now, I have here a presentation for you. Uh, just a short presentation about the TVL, the arts and design, uh, gas, and uh, the sports track. Please watch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much for watching. No, uh, in behalf of all tags uh, faculty members who are all licensed teachers and uh, qualified experts of their own fields, no, we are inviting you to enroll at Manuel S. Enverga University Foundation and experience the best form of TVL, ICT, HE, arts and design, sports track, and general academics. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Sir Leo Untalan. Denise? Okay, let's unmute our mic, Denise. Yes, I'm well. Thank you so much for the senior high school coordinators. And we will now proceed with the Q&A. So again, we have our principal, Ma'am Reina Pasumbal, together with the senior high school coordinators, Ma'am Jennifer Tadiosa, Mr. Nico Del Moro, Dr. Victor Oribe and Sir Leo Untalan. And guys, this is your chance to ask your concerns and queries. So this is a great opportunity. And and your high school coordinators as well as Mamorina to answer all of your questions. And, and of course, before you ask the question, Denise, no, we appreciate all our viewers again. 
uh, for staying with us up to now. And uh, nakita natin that there are a lot of comments and uh, we are really grateful. And maraming maraming salamat din sa ating uh, principal and our coordinators uh, for uh, sharing with us. Ano ba patungkol ba saan uh, ang ABM STEM, uh, UMS, and TAG kapag ito ang kanilang pinursu. And of course, maraming maraming salamat sa ating grade 10 uh, students. Go ahead, Denise. Okay, since um, nandito na po ang ating mga senior high school coordinators, um, pwede na po kayo magtanong. Ano po? Feel free to ask um, anything about your concerns. And so we have a question here for Dr. Victor Oribe, Sir, Sir Oribe. Now, finish the question po. <laughs> okay. Should one choose a career that's their passion or a job that pays more for the same practicality? Okay, so pang beauty contest talaga ang question, ano? Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> okay, kanino kaya ganun ang question? Oh, at, okay, actually, at first, we need to find out, for, we need to find out our purpose in life. Yun muna ang tanongin natin. Ano ba yung purpose natin sa ating buhay? Okay, for me, okay, as a human being, we need to find out first, ano ba yung makakapagpasaya sa atin? Okay, ano ba yung makakapagpasaya sa atin? From the question, a career that is your passion or a career or job that pays more for the sake of practicality. So, balik ko lang yung question. Doon sa nagbigay mo, alin ba makakapagpasaya sa'yo? Your passion or your job na for the sake of practicality, kumikita ka ng malaki. Alin na makakapagpasaya sa'yo? It depends on the person kasi. Kung alin yung pipiliin mo, your passion or your career na kumikita ka ng malaki pero hindi ka naman masaya. So, yun yung question ko doon. Yun yung sagot ko doon. Nasa tao kasi, ano yung makakapagpasaya sa iyo? Okay? Sabi nga ng isang uh, philosopher, ano, sabi ng mga Hindu sa kanilang paniniwala, bago daw ikaw ikaw sa langit, dalawang tanong lang ang ibibigay sa iyo. Do you find joy in your life? Is your life brought joy to others? So, yun lang yung tatanong sa atin. So, yun din yung tanong, ibabalik ko sa doon sa nagtanong, ano nang pipiliin mo? Okay? So, thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much po, Sir Victor, for your answer. And then, let's move on with Sir Leo Undalan. Here is a question po for you, Sir Leo. Now, what is yes. more valuable about getting a career? your education or your experience well actually in my my own point of view it's education you know? kasi ever since we got uh, get into uh, academy no hindi, i always heard from a parent from a parent from a typical parent that the only thing that they can give to their child is education so it's really the education that uh, is more important in getting the career. Although, experience is also important because sabi din niya, we, we can learn a lot from our experiences. And that, that, that is the advantage of uh, enrolling at Infergo University because it's learning why you are experiencing. Kasi yung yung Yung, yung matutunan mo sa Infergo, yung na-experience mo, what really is in the industry is what is worth. No? Yung yung education kasabay ng experience ayan ano po so we really need, don't need to to compare kung alin ba ang much better yung education or experience because we can get we can gain both in our university yung, yung learning yung education and yung experience thank you Okay, thank you so much for Sir Leo. And then we have a question po from a parent and this is question for Ma'am Reina Pasumbal, Ma'am Reina. And may yes, nagtatanong po na parent, how to enroll online? And they are based po in Dubai. Uh, okay, that's a, a very good question and that's a very important question. Thank you very much for uh, raising that question to our parent from Dubai. Marami pong salamat sa tanong. Um, I, I would like to answer the questions in various ways, no? but uh, definitely uh, later, I think, my understanding, um, 
after the Q&A, there will be a very clear presentation of our admission policies and procedure, uh, which will be presented by Ma'am Joanna Panganiban, our admission officer. So, para po sa mga sa magulang natin na interested to know as to how, how to apply online, uh, later there will be a very clear discussion with Ma'am Joanna as to how to apply online uh, or how to apply for admission in the university uh, but i think uh, there will be some I, I will be highlighting the points which will not be included in the presentation later so i actually have sir or ma'am um follow through questions no to that question uh, since uh, the reality is you are in dubai and you plan to enroll so definitely you'll be able to enroll okay but uh, probably um a follow-through question is, um, it's very interesting to note if uh, at the level of uh, the child, I mean the educational uh, level that your child will be applying into, um, has he completed uh, a particular program like uh, the, the elementary program? So, um, or if, if, if is the child in grade five or is the child in grade six or is the child in grade 10 or is the child in grade 11 so these are vital questions because there will be a process that has to be inserted in between okay because it, uh what mom joanna will be discussing is the regular flow of our online enrollment and if you would like to see the process you'll be seeing that later but if let's say for example your daughter is in grade 10 Okay, um, you can probably email us your child's credentials. No, even soft, even with soft copies, we can decide already if uh, we can admit the child depending um, on the credentials that you will be submitting. Um, if the child is enrolled in uh, an international school no, that has no accreditation from DepEd, definitely we have to forward your uh, child's credential to the uh, office of our chief um, curriculum and instruction uh, uh, department or CID chief. You no, know? the chief of our CID is uh, Mam Natividad, uh, uh, and she is based at the uh, DepEd Lucena Division Office. Uh, so we have to submit the credential of your child there for her approval. Okay, because we cannot just enroll them for the purpose of enrolling because we might somehow jeopardize a very important year no so if the child has completed 10 and then he graduated from a deped accredited school in the middle east then he can automatically enroll in the grade 11. but if the child is let's say for example enrolled in grade 11 right now no and then the child will be enrolling in the grade 12 uh we cannot immediately enroll that child in grade 12 the fact that the completion of the program is yet in the 12th level or the terminal program or the terminal year. Therefore, the record of the child, most especially if he uh, was enrolled, his grade, grade 11 was completed in the intern, in an international school, no, not a DepEd accredited school, um, it has to seek approval from uh, the CID chief of uh, DepEd. Because there are, oh, uh, let's say, for example, a lower version, no, um, let's say a grade five moving to grade six or a grade seven moving to grade eight. So his credentials has to be qualified because he may be lacking Filipino one or Filipino seven or Filipino uh, or Araling Panlipunan one. And the same applies to grade 11. So I hope I answered uh, our uh, interested parent no uh parents question so definitely uh sir or ma'am um you can email us at um msefbed at gmail.com or you can email us at uh, bed at msef uh, dot edu dot ph tamas or leo no that's our corporate email department corporate email Yes, ma'am. Okay, po. So, um, I think you still have to glue yourself uh, until later so that we can, uh, you'll be able to listen to uh, the online enrollment policies. But then, since you are, and also probably, sir, another factor is um, our time zone, no? the time zone of Dubai. Uh, 
and then of the time difference that we have in the Philippines and in your place right now. So there actually are a lot of uh, small questions that popped no, out of your mother question. So, but we are very willing to accommodate your other questions if in case you have time. So you can call us or probably email us. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for enlightening us. But we still have another question for you, ma'am Reina. So yes. the question is, okay, the question is, what's the best way to help an undecided child the track she is going to in the senior high school for? Uh, hmm. uh, the word, I, I think if we are to uh, unpack the questions, there are a lot of big words there, no? But the biggest of all is undecided. <laughs> Uh, I think that's um, that's that's probably the biggest word there, the biggest idea there. No, uh, there's actually one showbiz answer or one one best one one ano ba? one direct answer to that. But there also is uh, another answer that is uh, psychological, probably or philosophical. No, the the very first answer is um, I'd like to give two answers. I hope that's okay, Denise. <laughs> Denise is not. Uh, no. Okay. Sige po. Uh, the, the first answer is, um, if you are going to take a look, if you're going to review uh, the presentations of all our track coordinators a while ago, probably you've caught the presentation of Sir Leo, you know, highlighting GAS or general academic strand. Though, of course, GAS is under academic uh, track, no? Because under the academic track, we have uh, four strands, no? STEM, ABM, HUMES, and general academic chance. So um, the question here is, what's the best way to help an undecided child or the track, uh, of the track she is going to get in the senior high school? Um, the first or the, the fastest answer I can give is, you may take general academic chance, but no, there's, there's a big but to it uh, with, with just one T. <laughs> there's a big but to it, no, but... Um, in fairness with the presentation of uh in, in fairness with the presentation of Sir Leo, you know, um, because somehow it's you're somehow crossing a very safe bridge there, leading to a lot of opportunities if you will take a general academic strand. Because in edge in general academic strand, uh in the specialization part, you have uh offerings like that of fundamentals of accountancy also offerings which are very humanities and social sciences. You also have their specialization offerings coming from uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. No? So um, you're actually covering almost all the chaps when you take general academics chant. But then, um, just like what I have mentioned in our engagement a while ago during my part, no? We, we said that um, we have to look for danger signs. No, we have to look for danger signs. And one of the danger signs is uh, there is yet no decision, no? Because sabi ko nga kanina, the big word here is the term undecided, no? undecided. If the child is already in the nick of enrollment or in the nick of application, and yet the child is undecided, this is a very big danger sign, right? Um, or probably... If we will create a miracle, no, kahit pa po ang ating application will be by February or March or January, I think the Christmas holidays will give us a very, very uh, good opportunity to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, no, because the the child really, you know, if if the child will take a specific course, it will be more beneficial, no. Uh, it will be more, more beneficial for, for that child because he really has a clear direction of where he, he wants to, to go, no? And also, if I may add, uh, there had been uh, restrictions in the guidelines of DepEd, no? That had been uh, softened, no? That had been softened and lifted. Um, if not totally lifted, it, it was softened, no? And what is that? That... If you landed on this track when you are in the senior high school and then you suddenly changed your mind when you are in college, you know, uh, you can still enroll in the tertiary program of your course, even though that's far from your senior high school track you know, or your senior high school um, uh, strand. You know, because uh, in the early implementation, there was a strict 
uh, mandate no, on on that that if you go uh, if you go STEM, then you just need you are just accommodated on the STEM programs. If you go ABM, you're just accommodated in college under the uh, connected to ABM. But now, no. If you took ABM and you would like to uh, be an interior designer, let's say, or if you would like to perform, then you can still uh, go there, no. Or in the other way, no. Uh, vice versa. If you are doing uh, arts production right now, no, as uh, a strand of arts and design, and then suddenly you thought of doing accountancy, then you may enroll in accountancy in college. But of course, there are, as what have been mentioned by Sir Leo, no, um, uh, there is a certain uh, ladderization or spiraling, no, uh, that has to be taken or to be done, or in college it calls bridging, no. Uh, so they have this curriculum that will accommodate students uh, who are product of a different track and then suddenly in college they would like to enroll in uh, their program offering in college. Now, I hope I answered that question. So again, um, what's the best way to help an undecided child? The first answer is take general academics. So, uh, second is... Um, Make use of the break. Make use of the Christmas holidays. No, this is also probably for. Actually, it shouldn't be coming from a parent. But now that I am seeing it, it's coming from a parent. No, uh, I hope that uh, that child, no, later on will arrive at a certain decision. No, you decide. You decide. And then probably Mang Violeta Regaton Salapare. No, that since your question is here, no. Probably we can have a very meaningful uh, moment shared during the holiday season, no? Uh, talk among our kids and uh, listen to them as to what they really would like, no? Kasi sabi nga natin, uh, we only believe that they don't want to listen to us, no? That they would like to be independent. But uh, in reality, no? They seek support and guidance for career decisions, no? Because right now, um yes they may be grown ups physically no but then they need guidance from us parents right now no and i think our grade 10 teachers can also support no the answer now that the grade 10 are still enrolled no uh, and then our guidance uh, and counseling office at the university is a very useful and productive one probably that child or yeah, uh, these kids can also seek help from them in terms of uh, uh, arriving at a certain decision. No? Remember, the term is undecided. The question here is who will make the decision? Still, it's the child who will decide. We are just to support. But the verb or the, the term is undecided. So hopefully, it really is the child who is undecided. No? And then help the child decide. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for Ma'am Reina. And for those parents who are still watching uh, today's webinar, um, uh, there are questions for now. Maybe it's the same question that you have in mind. So make sure for that you stay tuned until the end of this webinar. So uh, Ma'am Reina, there's still a question po from a parent. And the question is, what if my daughter take ABM strand and she is planning to take civil engineering in college, but that doesn't relate to her strand when she was in senior high school? Is it capable when she enrolled at college being civil engineering, but her strand in senior high school doesn't relate to her strand when she's in senior high school? Um, I think... Um any one of us can answer the question, or either Sir Victor or Mom or Mom Jen can answer the question. But since the question is addressed to me, uh, I will gladly answer the question. Um, I think this is included in uh, the previous question, right? This is very, very much related. So the question, if we are to take a look at it again, no, um, the um, what if my daughter uh, takes ABM? And she plans to take civil engineering. Um, so I'll, I'll cut it there. No. So the reality is the child is enrolled in ABM. Okay. What are, if you are to spell out ABM, I think Mom Jenny 
uh, Ma'am Jenny, <laughs> Ma'am Jen Tadjosa had a very good explanation of what of the opportunities for ABM there, right? So you have their uh, relationship with numbers like accountancy and business, right? Uh, it's very entrepreneurial. And then you have the management side, right? Um, and also in the opportunities that were presented by Sir Victor a while ago, he enumerated a lot of opportunities for uh, students who are enrolled in the STEM. No, so it seems that there is a marriage. No, there's there's the unification. So for Mister or for for Mom, Mom Joy, no, for for our. A uh, parent who had raised this question, I think there is no worry, no, uh, no worries about the scenario. If your child is enrolled now at ABM, then she can somehow maximize. Now she can somehow uh, take um, take uh, ano ba ito? Uh, take all the chances, no, that that is given to her, the opportunities that is given her to uh, to her, no, uh, in relation to accountancy, business, and management. Actually, the track is not divorced to civil engineering, no, because I understand that uh, civil engineering uh, demands for skills which are also uh, developed in ABM. Um, that's probably the first answer. The second answer is um, in terms of uh, technicalities or probably I think that's the concern of a uh, uh, parent San Martino, no? Parent San Martino. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm saying parent because I, I cannot really say if it is a father or a mother, no? Um, but the, the, the second answer, the second color of the question may be technical or or in terms of the validation of their qualification, of her daughter's qualification. And I think that is the concern of the parent. No, um, In any universities all over the Philippines, if your child has graduated an ABM program, uh, that child or your child can still be admitted to civil engineering. Uh, for ver for example, in the in our own university, you know, at Inverga University, we somehow uh, uh, removed all these barriers. You no, know? before we have that because we are so obedient. You no, know? we we are so obedient with the policies, and since the the policies had been uh, not really collapsed but uh, relaxed, you no, know, at a certain level, you no. Know? So therefore, our civil engineering. Uh, program or in any engineering course, no, um, they prepared two curricula, okay? They prepared two curricula. The first curriculum is it's prepared for those who have completed STEM, okay? So they had taken away calculus there. They had taken away uh, physics there, no? Because those were offered in our senior high school STEM curriculum, okay? Now, they also prepared another curriculum which is for the non-STEM graduates, okay? The non-STEM graduates. So if, I'm not very sure with the number of units, but I'll give you somehow uh, a hypothetical number of units now. So if you are a STEM completer, a STEM graduate, and you would like to go civil engineering, no? Um, I think um, you will be taking a certain number of, this number of units, okay? But if you are an ABM graduate, then you will, use this curriculum only for the first year the difference is only in the first year okay and then there let's say for example since you have not taken calculus in abm then you will be taking calculus in the civil engineering so it's an add-on subject in order to somehow um uh not really enhance but somehow fortified no uh, it, it's to fortify your your basic skills required for civil engineering so i hope i answered mr or uh, parent sa Martina's question, ano po, na uh, whatever your track may be, if it is ABM, he would like to become an, or she would like to become an engineer, she will still be accommodated. Um, in our university, at Manuelis and Virgo University Foundation, whatever track is accommodated. Tapos na ng gas, magi engineering tatanggapin po. No? But if you will go into another university, um, Supposedly, dapat rin po silang tanggapin, no? Because that's the policy. But I think a uh, higher education institution enjoys a certain sovereignty, no, uh, or liberty in terms of uh, tweaking no? uh, their policies in terms to in terms of I'm sorry, in terms of uh, admitting kids uh, to a particular program, uh, most especially if they have very selective admission. 
So I hope I was able to help. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for Ma'am Reina and I think this is the this is the question and answer po since we don't have um we only have limited time to entertain questions but don't worry po sa ating mga online viewers as well as parents you can still send your concerns and queries sa ating pong basic education department page and then thank you so much again um Ma'am Reina Pasumbal and the senior high school coordinators for sharing us your answers to the questions of our um, online viewers. And now, Ma'am Gail. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so don't forget uh, viewers to use our hashtag MSCUF um, Career Ed. So uh, stay tuned until the end of uh, this webinar. So mayroon pa rin tayo mga estudyante dito na uh, talaga namang uh, active na active. Right, Ma'am Gail? That's right, Denise. And of course, we are thanking the grade 10, 11, and 12 students as well as our parents. Maraming salamat po. You have uh, many queries. Ayan po ay sasagutin po ng uh, office ng ating basic education uh, department. Maraming maraming salamat po muli. And of course, uh, to receive your uh, e-certificate, don't forget to uh, accomplish the uh, evaluation forms. That's so, ma'am. Uh, we will show the link para ma-receive ninyo ang uh, e-certificate. Maraming maraming salamat muli. At this point of time, we'll be showing you the MSEUF K-12 Flexible Learning Modalities. At Virgo University Basic Education Department, we listen. We fill the community's need for educational innovation in these trying times. We fill the need to tailor fit the learning opportunities for our learners. We offer you these three learning opportunities. For households that have a reliable internet connection, ODL or online distance learning is a practical choice. Here are the features, the strategically programmed virtual classes, innovative content management system, daily utilization of learning management systems or platforms, provision for competency or skills assessment per semester, access to MSEUF library and basic education laboratories through an appointment system, tech-ready teachers, credible and reliable assessments, has a strong standby tech team. For a learner whose dwelling has no internet connection, the modular distance learning is advised. Here are the features. Scaffold Bridge. Time-bound but self-paced. User-friendly. Detailed. Skirt-like. If your area has a weak internet connectivity, you may choose the flexible learning modality. It has the following features. Utilization of the modular approach. LMS supported but not dependent. Experiential learning opportunities. Applicable to any household types. Provision for competency or skills assessment per semester. Program instruction. These are options that you can choose from. Let us work hand in hand in designing the learning environment our learners need. At Virga University Basic Education Department, learning is always meaningful and fun. To know the admission procedure, we have the MSEUF Admission Officer, Professor Joanna Fe. Panganiban. 
This is the admission application procedures for senior high school school year 2021 to 2022. To submit your application, please visit portal.msuf.edu.ph slash admission and fill out the online application. Siguradihin kumpleto ang mga halagang impormasyon na hinihingi sa iyong application, katulad ng iyong contact information, lalong-lalo na ang iyong LRN or Learner Reference Number at iba pa. Afterwards, you will be asked to upload a clear scan copy of the following requirements. PSA birth certificate, grade 10 report card or certificate of completion, good moral certificate, and your 2 by 2 photo with white background. Kapag natapos mo na ang online admission application, makaka-receive ka ng SMS that you have successfully submitted your application. Afterwards, the admission officer will review the admission application submitted and the uploaded requirements. The prospective students will be evaluated based on pensions on hold for school year 2021 to 2022. Also, in the admission portal, maaari ka mamili ng schedule of appointment para sa strand or career advising with the admission officer to further guide you in setting your career goals and in making wise decisions about your future. Maaari kang pumili ng schedule after your admission application and click the schedule and preference of modality in the admission portal. Pagkatapos ma-review ng admission officer ng iyong application at ang mga uploaded requirements, you will receive a notification through SMS about approval of your admission application or pwede kang mag-log in to your admission account and follow the instructions for online enrollment or registration. Ang instructions para sa online registration, enrollment and payment ay makikita mo sa iyong admission account and portal. Para sa iba pang katanungan, you may contact the admission office at admissions at mseuf.edu.ph or maaari mo rin bisitahin ang official Facebook page ng Admission Office sa facebook.com slash MSCF Admission Office at pwede ka rin tumawag sa landline number at 042-785-5370 or through mobile phone at 0931-096-9588 mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. Stay safe at magkita-kita tayo sa Inverga University. Okay, once again, thank you so much, Ma'am Joanna. And thank you so much for all the senior high school coordinators and Ma'am Reina Vipasumbal for entertaining queries and concerns. And uh, don't worry, online viewers, you can still join Join us on December 10 and 11, 2020, which is tomorrow and on Friday. And on January 13, 14, and 15, 2021, same time, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. So professionals and employees are also invited. And you may also register in each day of the schedules so that you can enjoy each topic, okay? So you can also have certificates in each schedule. And to receive your electronic certificate, uh, click the link found on our Facebook page and YouTube's description. Okay, certificates will be provided to those who have attended the full duration of the webinar. So here's the evaluation link that you um evaluation form of this webinar. Okay, Ma'am Gail, are you still with me? <laughs> yes, Denise. Of course, again, uh, we would like to thank all of you for joining us in uh, this uh webinar all right so to give us his closing remarks we have the vice president for external relations mr salso di habalia good day everyone you have just heard our scintillating speaker expounded on intellectually stimulating topic that truly mark an emphatic career opportunities once you enroll in any of the offered programs 
in our most esteemed autonomous university in the entire Quezon province. At Mugerge University, we focus and play our role on the importance of your individual interests, strengths, and aspirations. Inverga University guides you all throughout, especially when you are at risk and even in your subject choices and pathways. We provide you comforts of your home and we care about your achievements. Be part of our family and savor the beauty and challenges through a planned flexible learning program success as invergence with optimistic outlook on life and sense of purpose. Be as it may, with a research-based knowledge, leadership and managerial skills, and professionalism. On behalf of Inverge University, headed by our Chairman CEO, Wilfrido no. L. Inverga, and present CEO, Madam Naila Inverga Leberiza, we thank you all for this great opportunity of having you in this career education series. Thank you, God bless, and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Sir Celso Habalia. Of course, a quick reminder, tomorrow ay tayo ay makikita kita muli sapagkat meron tayo kalawang bahagi ng ating webinar series. On screen, makikita natin dyan ang ating schedule. And of course, not just tomorrow, no? Uh, of course, uh, sa Friday, meron din tayong webinar series. Uh, same time tayo, 1 to 4 p.m. Just on time. Uh, Tamang-tama, we are uh, about to end uh, this uh, series. Again, don't forget to click the link that is shown on our Facebook page para po maka-answer kayo ng evaluation form. Also, to receive your e-certificate. Alright, so again, tomorrow, wag natin kalimutan, kita-kita tayong muli, same time, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Also on Friday, and of course, on January, nakaset na din ang ating online uh, webinar series. I think that's it, Denise. We would like to thank so much uh, for all of you who have joined us in our first day our online education series. Okay, so we'll see you again tomorrow. Again, this is your host for today. I am Denise Dehelo. And I'm Gail Riego. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you.